Hey everybody, this is Wendy at The Broken Needle and today I'm going to show you how to make freestanding lace. We're going to make the Give Thanks Pumpkin. This is perfect for the fall. For this project, you'll need the Give Thanks Pumpkin design, alligator clamps, aqua mesh wash away stabilizer, and we used Isocord embroidery thread. Also, because this is an in-the-hoop applique project, you'll need some scraps of black Kona solid. First, we need to hoop two pieces of aqua mesh stabilizer. We're using OESD brand. OESD designs can be used on any machine, but today I'm using the Janome MB4. I've downloaded my design to the Janome flash drive, and now I just snap in the hoop. Next, hit the start button and we get a reminder to make sure we have the correct hoop in and push the start button again and we're ready to go. The first stitch is the fabric placement stitch. Now we place the fabric down on top of the placement stitch. Back to the machine, we press start, get our reminder about our hoop size, start again, and we begin the tack down stitch. If you want, you can use a spray adhesive to hold the fabric in place, but this piece is so small, I'm just using my fingers. Now we need to unhoop the project, take it over to the table, and we're going to cut the applique. Carefully cut the applique using duckbill scissors or these curved embroidery scissors by Janome. Now the real fun begins. Snap on the hoop and away we go. The machine is going to do the magic. Just sit back and relax. Isn't it looking pretty? You can easily set the machine to do two or more designs in the hoop, depending on your project and the size of your hoop. For this pumpkin, I need six sides, so I'm doing two at a time. Now this is really cool. Watch this aqua mesh melt away. All of my pieces are complete. Ta-da! Look at that. One more time, all my pieces are cut out and I just put it under the warm water and it dissolves right away. Now we let them dry overnight. My pieces are all dry and I'm gonna start with the give thanks in the middle and attach the side piece with these buttons through the hole here. These are the buttons and we're gonna pull them through the hole here. To do that, we use alligator clamps and push them through the hole just wiggle it a little bit, grab one of the buttons, and pull through. I need to do this all the way down to connect them. See? After they're all connected, voila! Ta-da! Pumpkin complete! If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be reminded to see other videos and in the future we'll make this freestanding lace angel.